Welcome to Parenting Roundabout Speed Round, where we answer a quick question every Wednesday through Friday to keep our group chat fun going all week long. Uh, This is Would You Rather Week here on Parenting Roundabout. We did a Would You Rather on our group chat on Monday, and we're just going to continue it right on through the rest of the week here. Uh, So today's topic is kind of approaches to life, let's just say. Uh, our first would you rather is, would you rather take your time or would you rather jump right in? I would say for myself, I would rather jump right in, but I never do. I totally do not. I wish I was the kind of person who could jump right in and not agonize over every possible terrible thing. Uh, so that's sort of an existential would you rather for me. (laughs) Nicole, which would you rather do? Jump right in or take my time? Yeah. Ah, that's hard. Sometimes I just want to get it over and done with. <laughs> Probably meaning, I, I think I'm leaning more towards that. That's true. Like just Sort of the rip the Band-Aid off rip thing. Rip the Band-Aid off, get it over and done with. Because <laughs> I'll just stress, right? Like I'll just yes. stress yes. about the whole thing. So yeah, that's that my That sounds answer. like a good approach. <laughs> mm-hmm. That you, is Catherine? typically my approach to as many emails as I can like what, as soon as it hits my inbox and it's like you know your child's lunch account is low or you know you need to mm-hmm. sign up for this or that I'm like I'm just doing it that is a good idea mm-hmm. just do it and then I can file that email and it is not sitting there anymore right and and my daughter's school my daughter's high school is constantly sending emails like in a week you should sign your kid up for the ACT prep class. Oh. Like, just tell me the day before because I now I have to sit here and stare at this email for a week and a half <laughs> until the time it comes that I can actually do something about it. Oh, uh, you need that feature in your email that, oh, that, that lets you snooze, snooze it, it, right? I know. I like that. I like that very much. Oh, and I, I yeah. should. They will send another one. They totally will. Right. So I should yes. just delete it and and know that they'll send another one but you know i can't do yes. that <laughs> yes. i can't trust them to do that so i'm not <laughs> going to <laughs> well I, this sort of sort of fits into the next one which would you rather plan for the future or be or plan plan the future or be surprised um you know for myself i would say I would rather be the one who is surprised rather than the one who has to do the planning. <laughs> and yet again, I find myself in the position of having to do the planning. So yes. if somebody else in my life would would take on the plan the future part, <laughs> I'd be totally, totally up for being surprised, man. That'd be fine, but it ain't going to happen. Mm. How about you, Catherine? Do you find yourself in the same boat? Yeah, I mean, I think I don't even attempt to <laughs> to say that um i could be surprised i i yeah. would like to plan i mean yeah. th- i will say on things like um when i was pregnant and um most people would say i need to know you know if i'm having a boy or girl i need right. i need to plan and on those occasions um i wanted to be surprised mm-hmm. but for most yeah. everything else, I think <laughs> mm-hmm. I I prefer um, to be able to plan. Yes. How about you, Nicole? Planner. Where, which side do you come down on? You're a planner. Yeah. And it, happy happy to be. Yeah, I'm too. It makes me too anxious to like rely on somebody else or yeah or chance. Um, yeah. Yeah. I just I don't like not being in control of that unless of course yes. I have to plan for. 60 people to go to Disney or something. <laughs> Forget <laughs> that. Oh my gosh. But for yeah. my own future and my own world, I, I want to be in charge of it. Like I would. Yeah. yeah. I'm p- trying to be more spontaneous, but it ain't working. Um, all right. Our next one is, would you rather laugh or be sensible? Are those mutually exclusive things? <laughs> I'm very sad if that is the case. Yeah. Because I know what I what I do, not necessarily what I would rather do, but for yeah. sure what I do is am sensible. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like to laugh. I right. like to laugh, I but I don't I know like how that how they mean that the 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 
the anonymous Instagram list you saw, <laughs> right. how the how Mr. or Mrs. Anonymous meant that. Right. But uh, I, I would like to think that, that you could do both. Yeah, me too. Does sensible mean being humorless in this context? I, I guess that's what they're trying to I like to, to laugh. <laughs> I like to make fun of stuff, mm-hmm. especially myself. Right. And uh, But uh, I don't think that makes me not sensible. What do you think, Nicole? Well, I grew up in a house where everything was has had to be sensible. Ah, and there was no times. laughter? Not a lot. This so, is sounding you know, like, I'm like hearing sad violin in the background <laughs> as we're talking about it. Well, no, because then that's actually why I married my husband. I mean, of course, uh, for other reasons, but <laughs> honestly, he because makes... Because he was sensible or because No, because he laughs. He, he makes me laugh so much. It's like every day there's, you know, it just make, yeah. makes me laugh. I mean, I, he wakes up and he's... Anyway, we, he's, yeah... Yes, definitely. Laughter is good. Laughter yes. is great, especially for a relationship. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely laughter. <laughs> Did you answer that one, Catherine? Yeah, I, okay. I said that. Yeah, right. I was like you. Okay. Well, and then speaking of of laughter versus being sensible, <laughs> uh, this last question is just a gimme for Nicole, but we'll <laughs> do it anyway. Would you rather never eat chocolate again or never eat a vegetable again? <laughs> Do I, I think for Nicole it should be <laughs> it should be the the alternative to eating chocolate should be like you know, would you would you uh never eat, eat fish. a vegetable? If you if you didn't eat vegetables you could never eat chocolate. Would you eat the vegetable? But anyway, the, the question is... Oh, yeah, 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 I see, yeah. Would you rather never eat chocolate again or never eat a vegetable again? Come on. Do I have to say it? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who's ever listened to this podcast knows, knows what Nicole's... Knows well, answer. It doesn't specify what kind of chocolate, though. But still. Yeah. Okay, okay, I would never There's much, eat... a lot of chocolate you would, would never, never eat again. I would never eat dark chocolate. There's mm. that caveat again. Yes. Right. Um, but, oh, you I thought know, you liked dark, char- dark, dark I hate chocolate. hate dark chocolate. She okay. doesn't like American chocolate. Uh, yes. Don't get me started. Yeah. It's American chocolate. Other than Reese's peanut butter cup, that's the only good thing to come out of America. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will um, be defending the honor of Snickers at another time. But Catherine, what do you say to that choice? Since we know Nicole doesn't eat vegetables now, so it really doesn't – she's really not qualified right. to answer. No. Well, and, and you know, this kind of goes back to the being sensible question. But, yeah, I mean, I have to say that there are times when I crave vegetables. There really yeah. are. I mean, if I'm – if I have too much – if I just don't have any – if I'm traveling or whatever, if there's – for whatever reason I don't – eat many vegetables for a while, I will start to feel like I really need some. Yeah. So, and, yeah. and I don't necessarily get that for chocolate. I mean, if it right. were sugar, like yeah. anything sweet, then mm. I might, I might have to choose the sweets. But, um, yeah, I think for specifically chocolate, I could probably right. survive. Yeah, I feel like vegetables are a broader category, mm-hmm. and that chocolate is just one entry in the category. Mm-hmm. So therefore, I would say I would rather never eat chocolate again than never Wait, eat vegetables what? again. Hello? But I would be very sad. No, I mean you have white chocolate, you have milk chocolate, you have dark chocolate, <laughs> <laughs> you have chocolate with peanuts and caramel, and you have chocolate. You have with cake, butter. you have candy, you have yeah. cookies, brownies. Chocolate Hi. <laughs> Come on, you're taking out a whole bunch of food there by not eating chocolate anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying I would be happy about it, yeah. but I just say that if that was the choice. Exactly. And, you know, I wanted to live for a fair amount that of time. That is true. <laughs> I'd probably want to go with veggies. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> well, as if that wasn't enough, would you rather? Um, that's it for today's speed round, but come back tomorrow for another bunch of would you rathers and visit parentingroundabout.com for all our group chats and other weekly episodes. 
Hey, before you speed off from this speed round, please consider listening to all our podcast episodes, short and long, on the Radio Public app. It costs you nothing, and we get a little change for every listen. Thanks for the support.